When I left Housewives, it was a very dark time and I went through, depre- you know, it was very a depression and a lot of emotion. Now, tell me about this meditative book that you're working on. I can't think of a better project for Phaedra Parks because you literally brought a tear to everyone's eye when you brought out the Bible and pretty much gave a sermon on Ultimate Girls Trip. So tell me how this project came to be. You know, when I left Housewives, it was a very dark time and I went through, depre- you know, it was very a depression and a lot of emotions because housewives can give you PTSD. I think anyone that's been on it for over four to five years will experience um, some PTSD because it can be very traumatic. Um, And so I wanted to write a book um, for women, well, men can read it too, that really gave a part of my testimony of just being an overcomer because I mean, as you see, you know, God gave me double for my trouble, honey. I look younger, I feel younger, and you know, I lost nothing. But sometimes when people go through bad things, you know, they don't have a prayer life or they don't really understand the power of meditation, the power of thinking positive, the the power of claiming and proclaiming, you know, success, healing over their lives. And so, I wrote, you know, I'm, I'm actually finishing up the book now. And basically, um, you know, I talk about shame, embarrassment, depression, suicidal ideations. Um, and I talk about personal stories from my life, from my experience. And at the end, I give a meditation, um, you know, that helped me through those moments. Because I think a lot of people, they... Um, get into a place of no return because they don't have, you know, the support system like I had. I had great friends and pastors and, you know, people that really rallied around me and loved on me, but not everyone has that. So I want to be that bridge. I want to be that, you know, encouragement for someone that doesn't have someone to really talk to. Thank you so much for opening up about that to me. What were some of the affirmations that helped you through through that very trying time right after Housewives? Well, I mean, it was quite a few, but um, I just really had to recognize who I knew I was, despite what was going on. I had to really rely on my faith. It was my faith that really brought me through because I knew, you know, I I know that I'm destined for greatness. You know, no one can tell me anything else. I mean, I'm destined for greatness. My children will be great. You know, our territory will always be enlarged um, despite what it looks like. What would be your advice for someone who is also going through something very intense like that? I just think, you know, and I believe that, you know, especially in certain cultures that we don't really Uh, give enough credence to mental health issues. And so I just know that there's nothing wrong with uh, seeking help, seeking medical attention, um, even getting on a prescription if you need that. And I just think there's sometimes such a um, shame that people uh, put on um, depression Uh, suicide and things like that. And and that will lead you into not having the right discussions and not seeking the appropriate help. And so I just want people to know, you know, even through my book that there's nothing wrong with uh, saying I need help or, you know, I'm feeling this way, whether it be, you know, the worst feeling or the best feeling, you should be able to be transparent to people who love you and, you know, and get aid. Phaedra, that video that you recently posted with your boys set to Caroline Jones and Matthew Ramsey, so many skies. It was so, it was so, so sweet. God, we're so lucky we'll see so many skies. Every adventure with your hand in mine. Why was that kind of like the perfect song to put with that sweet video, calling your boys your greatest accomplishments? Well, my children are my greatest accomplishments because, you know, to continue my legacy, I am putting and and imparting all the things that I've learned into them as a parent. But, you know, with all that's happening in the world, COVID, inflation, violence, um, it's no better time to talk about love and to, 
you know, just be appreciative because I truly see death every day. And I just want my children to know how much I love them, how much I appreciate them and how happy I am that, you know, God blessed me to be their mom.